Alright, welcome back to Let's Play the Crooked Man. You guys know exactly where I left off if you watched the first video. I'm going to be continuing this uh, Let's Play for a long time. Or, not a long time, but until I finish it. So, let's get what? You can't scare me that early into the video. You can't. Gah! Gah! What? This is creepy. You see, this is when I would leave the... The, the uh... The, the hotel. I would leave it and never return. Sink? Yeah. What about the sink? Oh, the other sink. The other sink. Um, <clears throat> there's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Isn't this Mother Goose Rhyme? Why is it here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. This is so strange. I should get to sleep and forget about it. But I was trying to say earlier in the first video, I like them, but they're all really creepy. Like, uh, Ring Around the Rosie was based on the bubonic plague. There's some other ones, and there's one based around a girl who was killed by a man working at a pencil factory. It's, they're all really creepy. The, the only one that wasn't based around death was, like, the lady who lived in the shoe. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. Well, I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Winnie, 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 Winnie. Winnie, 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 Winnie. <laughs> Ow, it's a girl crying. Is that... Oh, no, a kid. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Okay. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Wait. Okay. Okay, they're not supposed to make anything. Okay. Walk, 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 walk. Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Gasp. I had a crack. What could that mean? Walk. Okay. Everything seems cool in here. Hey, look, a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Not really. What? Wait, what? Help me. The guy he says, "You, you, you gotta be." This room, it really, it is really, really strange. With its voices and the TV turning on. What? Yes, this. I won't be emphasizing anything in caps. Standing by the phone waiting for someone to call. Oh no, you're calling somebody. Ah, oh, hi Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah. What? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Yes, I'm curious why the son of Satan used to live in this apartment building. Well, it seems like you forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go and see what she knows. I don't know, no, 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 no. Na 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 David Another crack in the wall Can't examine this one Knock 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 Hello Oh it's Mr. David What seems to be the matter? Good day miss I just want to ask something you see About the room I'm in Can you tell me anything about it? The person who used to live here 
Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? Satan? Demon? I don't know. Something along those lines. I believe he was a man about your age. Son of Satan. He suddenly left about a month ago. Demon. He said to leave the furniture and use it, however. Jew. No, not Jew. You wouldn't know where he went? Never heard that, no. Just really just up and left out of the blue. Not a Jew. Uh, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents and find the previous tenant if you like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thank you. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry, I wasn't very useful. Hey, you useless piece of old lady. I can't be mad at old ladies. I, I love old ladies. They're always nice. I'm mad about my age. I can only wonder. Oh, well, I'll get back to my room. Can. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'll lead up to this wall. There's something in the crack. A brass key. Alright. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. <coughs> The guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Ha, huh. it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were a ghost. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. Now, well, that's just depressing, David. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. So you don't care about your life, but you care about a scrap of paper, you weird little thing. But I was wondering about that scrap of paper. What? What was the man who lived here like? Did his stuff happen? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Probably not. It only happens to you. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. They walk, 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 walk. Hoop. Badoosh. Why? What? Where is that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Oh my! That? TV? No. Bathroom? No. Enter. Washing machine. Where's it coming from? TV Stove Cracking the wall I don't know where it's coming from Copy? Okay, it's apparently coming from where is it? Toilet. <sighs> Can't blame you for not wanting to go. Where the fuck is it? I just met Larry Carter and I can't find it. Maybe it's in here. Ah. Radio? What, what? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Everything turns on by itself nowadays, David. Get with it. There's something in here. A piece of paper. Our special place. Where is that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Ooh, I love addresses. Okay, well... Headed back to my room. Oosh. I'm waiting for you. What? What? 
I'm I'm waiting for you. Why, why did how and when did it I thought you said you wouldn't care about the poltergeist, David. What? Wag! Er, Wag! I'm waiting for you two. So, you slept well last night? Saw so you had to sleep on the couch. Now I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha! I wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Not like blood was coming out of the wall, or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. Hey, why you? Ha ha ha. Just kidding. Seriously, though, can you tell me if there's anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. Hey, I'm glad to have a buddy. Who looks out for his friends. Hey, make a fun of me. Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you got your mother to look at after, but I think it's time for you to move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. Oh, that's what I thought about myself, and now I'm dating someone. No, I'm not. I'm... I don't have a date. I'm... Be alone forever! <laughs> I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl I want to marry ran away from me. Sounds about like me. Good job. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep that, that moping, and you'll have to find your own personal rain cloud. Ah, uh, well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I was going on a little trip. I don't want to waste my vacation, you know? <coughs> Ooh, great idea. Where are you going? Ah, uh, just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. Fade out. Fade in. Back to the... There. Looks like the address is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go there? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Well. Hell. I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Poop. Five hours later. No, wait, that's the prologue. David's room. End. And that was just the prologue. Already terrified. That save there. Spastic saver. Oh. So many places to save. So little time. Okay, let's go with the first one. Okay, give me five seconds. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm mentally retarded. Thank you for letting escape. Five hours later. For real, see this time. Jeez, it's gotten dark, but this place, no doubt. This is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? I guess I'll have to check. Come on, let me read the sign. Okay. A faded board. Hotel Ruhenheim. Giving you a serene stay. Huh. 
Okay, well, I just hit my time limit. We're inside the hotel, and everything's been completely scary and terrifying up to here. Thank you f so much for watching. I'll start in the next video very soon. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.